For many students, Picture Day is a rite of passage. For parents, it's a way to hold on to memories of their children through the years. But for one New York City school, the day almost didn't happen until one photographer stepped in. Correspondent Allie Rogan has the story. For Raven B. Verona, photographing the world's biggest artists is just another day at the office. A lot of times with celebrities, you know, that's their job. They're ready to get in front of the camera. They know what they're setting themselves up for. They know their best angles. A recent assignment with a much younger cohort took her out of her comfort zone. Public School 25 in Brooklyn, New York, was about to cancel picture day. We didn't have the money in the PTA coffers, so to speak, to fund that. It's a Title I school, meaning 40% of families qualify as low income. Carly Hustle's daughter, Harp, went to PS25 for kindergarten. Photos are keepsakes. These are moments that you get to crystallize in time. It happens very fast. Kids grow up. Things happen. People change. Hustle knew Verona because of her work in the music industry. She saw an opportunity when Verona posted a tweet saying she still takes small jobs. It just like clicked. It was like, you know, a God wink or something it, to think that, you know, that might be a year where those kids didn't have photos. It just didn't set right with with me and, and my daughter's father. So we sought out Raven and, and we got it done. I grew up in the Bronx my whole life, went to a Title I school from K to A. Like I have certain years of picture day that I don't have the photo because we couldn't afford it, even though my mom, you know, made sure to try to get it every year. We forget as adults that when we were kids, these moments are so monumental for the day. How did you go about empowering them to really express themselves when they got in front of your lens? Yeah, so I really believe, and I believe this to be true for everybody, especially any of my subjects, that you should have your own agency to like, you know, express who you are. So the first thing we did was that we had monitors all around the portrait setup so that the kids could actually see themselves as they were taking pictures. We encouraged all the kids to just be like, how do you feel? What are you feeling right now? Like, obviously we would tell them to smile at first because, you know, parents want to see a happy kid, but there were kids that were like, I don't want to smile. And we'd be like, okay, what do you want to do? And like one kid was like, can I hold my stuffed animal? And we were like, sure. Or can I give a thumbs up? Or whatever poses they wanted to do that they felt represented them. And each little child got to be celebrated in their own way through having their image captured. I think it's, you know, affirming and it's good for, for a kid's self-esteem. Each student was able to take their photo home with prints donated by Canon. It made me really emotional to just be reminded how just creativity and photography is like a privilege, you know? Like the idea of photo day and this memory for children in a school being a privilege that so many can't afford or they can't look back on and in like 10 years see themselves in school was really disheartening to me. Through her Best Side Foundation, Verona is inviting other Title I public schools in New York to apply for their own picture day. So instead of doing one school, I can do 10 schools and then I can get all my photographer friends to do them and then we can do 100 schools and then like maybe in five years we can cover the whole country. Giving families and kids a little happiness, one click at a time. For PBS News Weekend, I'm Allie Rogan.